to infinity and beyond. Hello everybody, it's Roger and James here from thiskingdom.com and in this episode we're going to be talking about um, the new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 um, events coming to the mobile games this week, um, obviously with the movie Hidden Cinemas. Um, so there are going to be five different games getting updates, so we're going to get Marvel Puzzle Quest, Marvel Future Fight, Marvel Contest of Champion, Marvel Heroes Omega and Marvel Avengers Academy. They're all going to be kind of getting updates and little events. Um, so what was your first kind of thought on this, James, when you kind of found out about this? Um, it was more of a just kind of, oh, well, of course, all of these games are going to have Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the big Marvel release of the year. I know Thor Ragnarok's picking up Steam, too, but Guardians of the Galaxy, after the success of the first game, or the first movie, sorry, they, uh, I'd be more surprised if they didn't have Guardians of the Galaxy events going on in every single Marvel title that they are yeah. releasing. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that it's good. So obviously, depending on what game you're playing would depend on what you're doing. Um, you know, they're adding characters to play, but they're also adding changes, adding costumes. Um, each game has sort of different variations and stuff. Um, some of them are a little bit weak. Some of them are a little bit like, well, we've already got all these characters in here already. Um, so therefore, it's just changing the costumes. Obviously, adding maybe external, uh, sort of lesser known characters like Mantis or Cosmo or something like right. that. Um, but generally, it's a good little tie-in. So is the movie. Not, I mean, this is the thing with these mobile games. They don't really necessarily need major updates and stuff um i think contest of champions obviously will have like a new little mini story mode um marvel heroes omega it just looks like they're getting a couple of costumes and they've not really announced too much details on that um obviously with the playstation beta going on with that one that one's a little bit of um hit and miss on this one but generally i think it's good but there's nothing really groundbreaking i think obviously the telltale game is the major kind of video game that you want to try out, which is also coming out this week on retail discs in America as well. So if you don't want to buy the season pass on digital, you can buy the disc and then it will download the, the updates when they come in for you anyway. So maybe if you haven't got a credit card, that's the best way of buying it. I can't really see of any reason at all why you would might why want the disc because it doesn't actually contain all the info. It's not like you're getting a physical version of it. It's, it's just an odd an odd choice for me some people just prefer having the physical whether or not the content's actually on it and increasingly the content isn't on the yeah. discs anymore so i think that will eventually phase out but it's there it's available yeah. uh i can think of one thing which is that it's often a lot easier to get discounts on physical merchandise mm -hmm. than it is on digital i know like if you buy it from best buy here in your gamers club you can get 20 percent off just straight yeah. away and they, they have a tendency to just go 50% off yeah. or 40% yeah. off a lot faster. I did also see on one of the UK retailers the Telltale game and also the Batman Telltale game were listed as physical releases for the Switch as well coming up in on um, the end of the month as well. So that was kind of linking into the Guardians of the Galaxy kind of content. And obviously these games are on mobile devices as well. So there's actually quite a bit of content all the way around on Guardians of the Galaxy. We did do a full review on last on one of an episode last week. Um, now for me, uh, primarily at the moment, I'm playing Marvel Heroes Omega on the PlayStation 4. There are the two costumes that are available. I did do a live stream where I kind of was showing off the two characters and stuff last right. week. Um, but just in general, I would have thought there would have been a bigger event, but the, maybe that's going to be coming out on Friday when the movie comes out in the US. I honestly wouldn't expect it for the PlayStation 4 at the very least. Um, I would like it. I would love if they'd have a little event, but I think that right now they're far more focused on squashing bugs and making sure that the technical yeah. experience is what people want it to be. Um, it's important to note that the costumes that you're talking about have actually been in there since the beginning of the closed beta. Yeah. Uh, they were available from the beginning. I tried out the new Rocket Raccoon one, which makes his Groot pet into Baby yeah. Groot, yeah. which is cute. But I ended you up going back to its original yeah. one. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you see can't him. see him. You can't. And see I, him. I feel like his co his attack range is actually smaller than the regular Groot. Probably, well, teeny, you know. He's teeny, he's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't see him at all. No, um, it, was, I, it was only because I heard him. I didn't actually right. even see him. He must. He was must have been completely lost in the battle. And I'm gonna go. That's, I was like, he was. I am Groot. And I'm like, well, what? What? It's like, and it's like, oh, it must be a baby Groot. I can't even sort of see him in there. Right. Um. It's kind of an odd one with like the the sort of Marvel Heroes Omega because we didn't get Star Lord or sorry we didn't get Gamora, Drax or Groot as playable. Now 
whether or not that will come later on. That will probably come later on because they are playable on the. Is group playable well, on the, on the main they're, one? They're not playable characters. They're team up characters. Ah, right. So they're your assistant NPCs, and you know that's not a feature in the PlayStation version yet. Yeah. However, uh, if you looked at like the orig- original ad copy for some of the mm. um, founder packs for the PlayStation Four, I think the Guardians of the Galaxy one was supposed to be Star Lord, Rocket Raccoon. And a team up, and they didn't specify who the team up was, and I've, they've changed the wording since then. But that does yeah. suggest that they are planning on bringing the team ups, and so they are available in the PC version as team ups. And Groot's actually got a couple different versions mm. that can be unlocked, and they did show off uh, model sheets for updates to Drax and mm. Gamora. However, it seems like their new, entirely new characters. So if you yeah. already own Drax and Gamora, you still have to buy. Yeah, the new updated yeah. version, which I think is kind of a little sketchy, unless they have an entirely new power set that goes with it. But yeah. judging by their history, it won't. It's so. almost like you know, do you sort of look at this thing, and I kind of look at it and go, "This would have been a good like jumping in point, for, like what we've seen with Civil War, where you know the new characters become playable. You know, they you know they released the you know four or five playable characters, add a little story." And that would have been a good like jumping in point as a, a boost for the game, but almost it feels like maybe the launch of Omega is like, well, no, we've got a we all of our attention has been on this rather than focusing on using the Guardians as a as a push forward like we did with because I almost view like what they did with Civil War should have happened with Guardians of the Galaxy as well of pushing that forward, and right. it doesn't feel like they they just obviously just purely down to resources they probably were not able to do that. Yeah, and I agree. It's it's one of those things that the PC player community is very worried about, you know, because all of the resources are going to PlayStation 4 and presumably also to the Xbox One. And the question is, will PC ever get focused back on it? I personally think it will once, you know, there's a full launch for PS4 and Xbox One. It should be relatively easy for all three to have, you know, like a Guardians of the Galaxy or Thor Ragnarok event. But it's a concern, and it's something that players should be aware of, that, you know, it's entirely possible we might see kind of like a sliding scale of who gets what content. Yeah, and, it's going uh, yeah, to be interesting to see how it works, um, um, as we've said in the, uh, in the past, as PlayStation or console players, it's that kind of thing of we can see what's going on with it, and I, I, I'm jumping in. Um, I did actually, you know, spend a couple of evenings on it, but I kind of would have loved to have seen a little bit more content. But just look, looking at the whole range of Marvel games, there's so much going on with Marvel's The Galaxy. But is that kind of odd thing of they've not, they've not maybe gone as full in as they maybe wanted to. Maybe that's because they want the attention on the Telltale game as the primary source of of all the new content, and that might be part of the deal. You know, it might be part of the deal. It might also just be that they weren't able to get anything ready because we're still at like the one year mark since Disney infinity was canceled yeah. and they didn't have anything ready at that point. Yeah. Now I was thinking about this, uh, not infinity, but Marvel heroes. Uh, we know that the fantastic four have been released, have been removed from mm. the PlayStation four version, but they've already got like all the assets set up and I'm suspecting that they're going to probably re-release these characters with new, as new characters, so like yeah. Mr. Fantastic might become Miss Miss Marvel, the the new yeah. character. And I was thinking, who would be the thing? Who who would replace Drax, the thing? Yeah. And actually, Drax is actually the most likely term. They've already got the character sheet because of uh, the yeah. team up. Uh, they've got the power set from the thing. He was known as Space Hulk for a long yeah. time in the comics. So I would not be surprised. And we're not basing this on any you know insider knowledge or or even teasers or whatever, but just. <laughs> If I was going to re-release the thing and I wanted it to be a popular character, Drax is who I'd be looking at. Because obviously that's the thing as well. Even in the comic books, obviously the thing is was was kind of they kind of when they broke down the Fantastic Four, they moved them all around a little bit and put the thing went in with the with the Guardians. But with all this, there does seem to be a very kind of yeah. We don't mention them. We don't mention them at all. Um, But generally. Lots of different content coming to the game. So whichever game you're playing, um, let us know in the comments below what you're playing. As per usual, you can find us on all the different social media platforms. You can also find us and watch us on a number of different um, video and audio platforms, including um, Apple Podcasts, Vidme, and YouTube. And you can also find James over at HeroicLegacy.com and on Twitter at VagabondPeak. And on that note, guys, thank you very much, and we'll see you guys soon. Later. Later.